Hi everyone, my name is Ilya. I come from Russia and uh, I have been living in South Korea for 17 years now. I'm Joseph from the States and I've been here for the last six years. I'm really loving it. Hi everyone, I'm Tambo from Australia and today we have a very exciting event lined up for you. Normally we do these events in Korean, but just for you, we're going to be speaking in English exclusively. Yes. Absolutely yes. Of course. So Korea's done this great policy because the people who are most likely to have it are people coming from other countries, right? If you've been in a different country, when I came back, if you've been in a different country in the last two weeks, everyone can be tested for free. So I just, it turned out it was okay and it was really, really impressive. What about you? I was just an unfortunate victim of circumstances the first time around, but by the second time I had my identification card, so I think that was part of why I was able to get the treatment for free, which is great. A runny nose, a tiny bit of a sore throat, occasional headaches. So I called the national hotline for disease control and they said, you gotta go to the hospital. All of the entrances to either Seoul Pyeong Wan have been closed because of Corona-19. Oh, Guys, I want to give you a big warning. If you're a foreigner, it comes out to be like 520,000 won. That's like 500 US dollars. Why is it all so small? They're like, way too big. Ah, the Korean Con Con because you don't have the uh, yeah. national insurance. Yeah, yeah national. Insurance. I was really lucky because I had one week left on my travel insurance. Bless up everybody. Get travel insurance. Don't ever go without it. So that was what should be my one out of pocket, but it got reimbursed. Yeah. Then the second time was a bit more fortunate. It was completely free. In the South Korean system, we have covered uh, the whole population, mm -hmm. right? Like everyone has uh, medical insurance, everyone mm -hmm. is covered, and pretty much everything is covered under that health insurance plan. I have a lot of my friends, Russian friends, who are living in the United States right now, and I hear these horror stories about how they go to emergency rooms, for example, and wait for like hours and hours there just to get treatment mm -hmm. while they can be actually like physically bleeding. And uh, that's something unimaginable in here in South mm -hmm. Korea. You can get the uh, CT or MRI the same day you go to the doctor mm -hmm. and get all the uh, uh, these komsa, right? Like all the procedures you need to do in the same day. Yeah. That's just fantastic. Even my mom said, she said, if you're gonna be sick, be sick in Korea. Yeah. Don't come back to America and get sick, it's too expensive. There was one time I even screwed up my back while doing a deadlift. I was like, I'm going to hold you up. And then I went to Honey One, you know, get the whole testing, everything done. And oh, like, Honey One. Honey One, it's beautiful. Mm. Like, yeah, come on, baby. I've always been impressed with the Korean healthcare system. They're like, we do has been really good. The reason I've known this is because when I was here in 2016, I actually had what you call a kihum or a pneumothorax, to use a technical term. It's where your lung like collapses and just explodes. Did you go to the hospital? But when I was in the hospital in America for one week, it cost me 10,000 US dollars. Wow. So like, chan mama? <laughs> yeah. Wow. So with insurance. Yeah. But then I had it in Korea and with the national healthcare system for two weeks, so twice the time it only cost me like, 230,000 won. Since then, I've known that the Korean public health healthcare system will do a good job and Corona has just proved it again. The Korean healthcare system has done just a, a beyond incredible job of making sure that every person has an opportunity to get treated and every person's gonna be taken care of. I've been really, really impressed. So being 
the loving son that I am, I frequently or infrequently call my mom through video chat and she's like, how's everything in Korea? I'm like, no, how's everything in Australia? You guys had the lockdown, right? You guys had the sold out toilet paper and rice and pasta. You literally couldn't find food to eat in Australia or... A lot of my Australian friends are asking me for photos of toilet paper, rice and pasta here in Korea because Australia seems to have run out of these very essential supplies. So today we're gonna to be going to Emart, check out what the stocks are there and see how we're surviving. Loaded with pasta, completely stacked with water, absolutely no shortage on ramen. Here we've got plenty of instant rice. How was it for Russia and America in terms of the lockdown? We did have a lockdown in Russia as well. Um, that was a huge one in Moscow during the peak of the pandemic in Russia, which was uh, in April. There was a stay-at-home orders. You couldn't, uh, it was even, they went even further. Like uh, in order to leave your home, you need to get the QR code on your smartphone. We were allowed to only leave your home twice a week. You need to get, like you need to go to internet, to the municipality website and apply for that QR code. And with only that, you could like go outside. In Korea, everyone's still going out. You know, we're wearing masks on completely packed subways. We're going drinking and eating and life is almost as normal, but for some reason it just hasn't blown up. I think the mask is such an important part of that puzzle. Yeah, I think that's something that's made me feel really safe. Uh, that's why I feel safe in Korea is because I look around people and people are taking it seriously, more seriously than in America and other places. So. Whenever I'm here, people always, my friends keep asking me, aren't you worried, aren't you worried? And I say no, because I think people here have at least understood the seriousness of the issue and that it can become worse. It's actually interesting you mentioned about like wearing a mask. Probably the same problem with Russia right now. People just don't care enough of wearing masks. They don't believe that masks actually work. Went to the streets, they didn't wear masks because everyone is like, well, it's a flu. What flu can do, you know? Like, and uh, that's a stunning uh, comparison with what we are seeing here in Korea. The Korean government developed an assistance system for epidemiological investigation. During safety and prevent the COVID-19 in preemptive manner, the Ministry of Education postponed... government did a lot of job in conveying this information to the people. Uh, pretty much everyone uses masks and uh, sanitize their hands. There was a huge uh, social distancing campaign as well. We can, you can see all the banners in all the parks, parks and along Hongong River as well. Even when I go to McDonald's and Starbucks, there's the lines. One thing that's fascinating to me in my previous lives, hand sanitizer was something that right. only very select people had and you'd kind of see them as hygiene freaks. But overnight in Korea, it popped up everywhere. You'd see it on buses, trains, cafes, food places with 30 years of history that have no business doing something innovative. You just see hand sanitizer everywhere. What's, what's been your experience with it? So convenient, right? Yeah. Like, wherever I go, it's not like I have to, oh, I need to, like, sanitize my hands. I need to find it. It's right. always in front of me. I almost do it just because it's there. It's like, it's almost just like, just like I open my phone, like, hand sanitizer, just done. And they made it so easy. When I was in America, I couldn't find it at all. I mean, like, even if you go to the public places like parks, uh, you can see all those hand sanitizer sanitizers attached to the trees mm -hmm. and it's really and people actually using them because I see that people actually walk to them and do the, the they sanitize their hands if in Russia it's unimaginable mm. stuff like that if I put a sanitizer if I attach it to the tree it probably will last for like 10 minutes who would steal it yeah oh my <laughs> goodness. someone would steal it and use it at his home but in Korea like the social responsibility people know that it actually put their best.
what have you guys noticed has been unique about Korea's response to the coronavirus? Probably one of the biggest issues on the news were the drive through mm. because that was the very first time that any country in the world implemented that kind of uh, way of testing. Uh, and I, I actually saw them with my own eyes. Like, I didn't go through, I didn't get the, like, tested by like that, but I saw those stations when the car actually enters and those guys with the like uh, masks and stuff, yeah, in the suits, uh, they do the test and it looked like you are in a like SF movie or something. <laughs> That's kind of the first thing in America that even Trump and others started talking about when they started talking about what should we do. Because now Trump's like, oh my gosh, it's actually an issue. They brought up drive throughs I remember watching actually the report mm -hmm. and seeing the, C the head of the CDC and other doctors in America saying, Korean drive throughs are the way to go. So how can we take the Korean drive through idea and apply it to America? So what they did is they actually took, they worked with business leaders and said like Walmarts and other places to make them those drive through centers. So it was really interesting to see how America took a Korean idea and turned it into a way that would help America. Uh, they do it in Russia as well. Oh really? Yeah, that proved to be very, very effective because you can test a lot of people at the same time and the uh, natural environment of you being in your car and person being in the suit that helps to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. Yeah. yeah, that was probably one of the biggest issues and one of the uh, most prominent ones that put Korea on the spot. during the uh, very heat of this pandemic and virus has not been demolished completely. It's still around us. And that's exactly why um, an international news agency has got so much attention towards South Korea, because mm -hmm. it's been doing so well. But still right now we're like in the 50s, like at the oh, very yeah, bottom yeah. of the ranking. Because yeah. there are much more countries up in the ranking than us. And uh, probably that was, there are a lot of reasons for that than being cited, like the uh, total openness and uh, information disclosure from the government. Because oh, yeah. uh, government has been honest on uh, about what's happening. Like there is uh, this lady, Chong Eun Kyung, Kim Bu Jang Nim, like she literally did the briefings every day. And like she was talking about how much and what exactly are they doing, what exactly the situation. So that was quite amazing and I guess the uh, whole transparency and the uh, information, full information disclosure from the Korean government uh, was very important, played a really important part in uh, containing the whole situation with the coronavirus. Korea, it can be done, but every person can do the little things that to take care of it. Please wear a mask when you go outside, wash your hands, do all the little things that you can do. This is not only overcomable, but it's something we need to overcome together. It'll happen. To all the people out there, I would like to say that uh, look at the best examples from the first way we got the coronavirus. We need to do that in order to prevent that. And uh, even if there, is, there will be a second wave fall or winter time, still, if we just keep our social distance and uh, wash our hands, as ridiculous as it sounds, it actually helps. So I hope there will be no second wave. I want to give a special message to my friends down in the Southern Hemisphere. Winter's about to finish. You're going to be going into great weather and summer's coming as well. Please stay at home. It's not worth it. Summer is going to come again and you can always get a tan next year.